Hey folks, hello and welcome to uh, the Relaxed Mail. We have another review today. Today we have this little guy. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the handier items you're ever going to come across uh, that you're going to want in your camping pack. Uh, not going to be used every day, but you're going to want to use it nonetheless. Today we're going to be talking about the saber cut saw. Hello and welcome and uh, today we're going to be talking about the guy that's in this little package. This little package uh, contains probably one of the handiest things I have come across in a while. It is um, probably one of the simplest thoughts that have been put into and I'm sure it was just a bunch of drunk guys sitting around going, hey, I wonder if you could and it is put a handle on a set of chain on chainsaw chain and would it cut and i bet you they found out that yes it does and they th went off and started making a mint with this um, that is what we're going to be reviewing today it is the uh saber cut uh chainsaw by the uh, company ultimate survival technologies or ust um they're um they have several products uh, that I've uh, reviewed. They are the same ones who did the uh, Spark Force uh, Fire Starter uh, Sparker. And so they've got, they do a lot of things and they do a lot of things that work and they do a lot of stuff that works well. Um, and today, like I said, we're talking about this little guy and it is just as simple and straightforward as you could think. It is a set of handles put on to a chainsaw chain and what you do and I've got a demo I've got a demo for both a live uh, for a green uh, branch along with a dead branch and I'll let you know that a dead branch makes life a heck of a lot easier than trying to cut up a, uh, a green one but if in case you're needing some uh, green branch for whatever reason like uh, shelter or whatever uh, it will cut through green and it does it pretty well it's just you know it's just one of those little items that uh, uh, they they are a lot more flexible when they are when they're wet and they're green so but anyhow it is just you would end up just wrapping say this is the, the branch you just end up going over wrapping it around and then just start dragging back and forth and it slices through branches like and it starts slicing through branches be almost like butter or at least like a saw through wood <laughs> and so um, I enjoyed uh, the few times that I had uh, I had done this um, it, it, which I mean if you're gonna cut wood is anywhere close to enjoyable it's I mean that's about the closest you're gonna get no one really enjoys doing a lot of wood cutting but it is uh, it makes a it makes for quick work so uh, it's a it does the job and like i said it's an easy to fold up uh um tool so when whenever you get finished cutting stuff up you can just since there's multiple links in there you're able to just fold it up and stick it right back into the end of the pouch now you can get these for about 15 bucks on amazon um and actually the i got a little bit cheaper one and it came with a little clear plastic pouch if you uh go on amazon you'll actually get something that get, has a really nice nylon pouch which makes it look a little classier uh, a little more rugged is what it looks while this is just a very inexpensive plastic <laughs> it's a ziploc bag with it with a i with a grommet thrown to it onto it for uh so you can tie it on to stuff but it's a when it comes to this uh using this it's um when it comes to reviewing this i would actually my my points on it are that uh for pros it's quick as you can see you can put it in you push put it out pull it out of the pouch easily it uh it's a ziploc top so it's uh, at least on mine uh, most of them have either a clasp or a zipper which still makes it very easy it's actually easier to close when you have a zippered uh zippered top the uh 
so it, the ease of use is is definitely a, a plus it's quick it saws through as you're going to see on the demos you saw through branches fairly easily you're not at it for 30 minutes going golly when's this thing finally going to make it through you actually get through especially with a with uh when it's dead wood get through it really really fast so if you ever come across a you know a 12 foot piece of, of wood that you want to use for your for your uh, your camp uh, campfire and you can't find anything here you go you've got uh, you can at least bring it close to the uh, to the campfire take it and uh, saw it down to the sizes you want and be done with it in a relatively uh, short order um, handy I mean it heck yeah it's a handy device to have it's uh, it stores away it's out of the way until you need it and when you pull it out you, and you need to use it it's there it's ready to go it's got the like I said it's got a grommet uh, hole at least on this one the uh, uh, the ones for uh, that have got the black nylon uh, pouch has got a way to be able to attach it to like a belt another thing another way so it's easy to bring along but at the same time it is out of your way um, but there are a couple of uh, drawbacks that I would actually say that are, are on here. Now, one is, especially when you're cutting on uh, cutting on wood, you've got to make sure that you keep it at a fairly uh, straight angle. If you try getting too tight, you're you're bounding up and you're not hitting the hitting the wood right. So if you got really thin pieces of wood, you're going to want to be almost straight across as you're cutting off uh, cutting it through. Um, while uh, thicker pieces of wood you can actually um, you can actually bend it around a bit but still don't go straight up and down especially when you get to close to the end because it, it binds up when it gets close uh, close to the end so you want to make sure that you always have your um, have your strap your handles more they're out to the side as you're as you're finishing up the the sawing um, the other big drawback is that it's made of metal which makes it very durable but because it's made of metal it's going to be prone to rust so you want to make sure that you take some chain oil or three in one or something like that and uh, when you're done with it and you're putting it up for the uh, for the weekend make sure you, you coat that with some uh, with some oil because it uh, you don't want it to rust up on you especially when you need it the most uh, so you might actually uh, take a uh, wrap it up and and put uh, some uh, some paper towels over it and have the paper towels in with uh, with oil on it that way you keep the water and the moisture at, at bay um, the other thing is uh, the only other problem that I really for say uh, saw is if the straps were to ever break now they're not I don't think these are gonna break if you if you see it these are just heavy-duty black nylon uh, uh, nylon straps well uh, well sewn together um, I'm not they don't come with any any types of phrase or anything that's going to show you that hey this is going to come apart after about the third uh, third limb uh, so I don't see this coming apart but if for whatever reason the handles do come apart say um, you get junior and uh, discovers uh, scissors and thinks it'd be a really cool idea to cut this with the scissors it's going to start getting a little uncomfortable having to use this without the, without the straps. Yeah, you've got a little T uh, T holding on holding it on, but you know you're going to have to hold on to it like that, and your fingers are going to eventually get tired as you're as you're sawing away. Uh, if you try to just be more manly and grab a hold of the of the uh, of the chain itself, you know you're going to have that pulling against your hands against your palms so you, you're going to have some you're going to need to either a have some very manly manly hands or you're going to end up developing some very manly manly hands because these are you know, that's going to eat your hands up um so those are the those are the pros and the cons the big pros and cons that i have of the uh of it now for rating wise uh, handiness i give this puppy like i said it's all sorts of handy it, it tucks itself away and is out of the way when you don't need it when you need it it's readily available it clips on to, you can use a carbiner clip uh and have it attached to your uh to your belt loop or to some place else where it's uh, it's right there easy for you to access um so i gave it a nine it, when it comes to it comes to 
being uh, being handy by gosh this is one of the handiest items I, i'm going to say i've come across in my in my short uh, uh camping uh short camping uh review career um durability well it's made of metal it's uh, going to be pretty darn durable i mean it's used to being going over um going over a log hundreds if not thousands of times on a chainsaw so with it being just you running it back and forth back and forth you're not doing maybe a tenth of the work that they would normally be doing if it was with uh, it's still attached to a chainsaw uh, a, me a mechanical chainsaw itself so uh, but because it is able to be uh, because it can rust i am definitely going to, I don't, i'm not going to give it a nine or higher it's actually going to only be an eight on the on the durability uh scale flexibility it's well i mean yeah it's got a whole bunch of, of joints in there so it's flexible in that fashion but when i say flexible i'm saying what other things can you use this for cutting up wood maybe if you're stuck and you need to dismember a deer okay this might work this would work also to take away the to cut through the legs and or the bones and stuff um other than that there is not much you're going to do it's either live wood or dead wood you know green or, or green or dead one of the two so there's not very much flexibility in what this is for this has got a one purpose job and it is to cut something fairly efficiency and fairly efficiency is what it does um or fairly efficiently is what it does so i'm giving it a five now comfort wise the straps they're comfortable you can put them on you can hold on to it with uh with a power grip or if you need to you can actually just run your hands through here and, and saw away if um and so if your hands you get writer's cram you're ha hacking away um you can just use your whole arm and just keep your hand relax your hands so it's when it comes to comfort it's a great uh the uh the saber cut saw does a great job of being uh being comfortable uh now it won't be a perfect because if you ever lose the handles that comfort factor is probably going to drop to about a three uh just doesn't seem like it's going to be all that comfortable of a uh, of a tool to use if you're having to grab a hold of the cutting teeth on on the saw blade itself so but anyhow that is my review if uh you like it you can uh you can go through and per actually purchase this over at amazon link is going to be down below if you you um if you uh like this uh video please go ahead and uh click the thumbs up and uh and let us know that uh you liked it it helped you out if it's uh something that you're uh didn't fit or didn't work answer the questions you had ask the question down there below in the comment and i would love to be able to answer that uh, question for you so anyhow that is it for brian i'm brian for uh the relaxed mail and that was our review for the uh the saber uh chainsaw by ultimate technology solutions you have a great day okay first thing that actually we're going to be doing here is actually with a uh, with a green branch actually it's a green tree and as you can see I'm trying to get a couple of items out of the way uh, it's really easy you just put it around the what your the item you're wanting to cut um, and it, you can get it as high or low you said it arranging it is is actually a really easy fashion but anyhow just run it back and forth and as you can see it just it starts cutting through easily it's a it's a great easy uh, uh, type of uh, a hand saw that you can use that is doesn't require a lot of effort and as you uh, as the tree kind of loses uh, stability it started wanting to rock backwards and that's the uh, the issue that you kind of run into is that the, the blades can bind if you're not at a uh, at a shallow enough angle but also you kind of have you trying to keep the everything from binding up it can be kind of a uh, kind of <laughs> a pain in the in the backside but as you can see it get seated back into the uh, into the slot so 
even next to the ground it does cut uh, cut easily it's um, but as I've mentioned before uh, in the actual review it's easier if you actually take the uh, the saw and you use it to cut Uh, dead branches instead of actually trying to cut up um, green. And as you can see, the branch tree starts to uh, starts to kind of give after a little bit and. And there you go, timber. And scare the bugs away. So, but an easy, clean, clean cut. Um, as you as you can see. Okay, now the next one that we actually did here was a it was the dead branch and dead branches. Uh, just snagged one off of our our little wood pile here, and uh, apply a little pressure. Ignored me. This was that. As you can see, as you go through and you're trying to cut it, uh, with dead branches, it actually becomes a lot easier um, and quicker as you just uh, are able to pull back and forth. And it, and it cuts through basically like, uh, like a hot knife through butter is a good way to describe it because it's, uh, it's quick. Uh, the issue I run in, you run into is when you get close to the end, you want to make sure that you're giving more uh, of a wider uh, uh, pull instead of being directly in front of you. You're you end up losing some of the cutting edge, so you want to make sure that you're swinging your arms out uh, sideways like this a lot more, and it cuts through the branch fairly easily. So that's what you got.